am making these fabulous fig and ginger truffle candy that's actually good for you. It's super easy to make, basically just chopping up some dark chocolate here and always want to use dark chocolate. I usually use between 60 and 70% cocoa solids. I find 60 to 70% is the perfect mix of taste and health. But let me show you what's inside these truffles. Some figs, some dried figs, and these are so plump and juicy. Just putting these figs right in the food processor, along with some ginger. Now fig and ginger just goes beautifully together. So just putting that in. Just gonna add a little bit of honey. You can spray it with oil, or just brush a little oil in there with your finger, and this way the honey will just slide off the spoon and you won't have to fight with it. Mm, looks so good already. Basically, I'm just going to make some balls out of this. Heaping teaspoon-sized balls, and you don't have to get too fussy about it. So it's ready to go into the chocolate. So I just have here a double boiler that I just fashioned out of a bowl on top of some water. And just make sure that the water is just barely simmering. You don't want it to be super hot. And make sure it's not touching the bowl. So I'm just going to put half in and melt that. This is one of those relaxing things I love to do. It's sort of an aromatherapy. So that's done. Now I'm going to shut the heat off and add the remaining chocolate. This way it kind of melts really slowly. Sort of a cheat way of tempering it. I'm going to take it off there. And it will melt basically from the heat of the chocolate that's already melted. Then just basically rolling these beautiful truffles into the chocolate until they're coated. Healthy indulgence. All right, so when these are done, they just go into the refrigerator for 15 minutes to set. You know what? Chef's privileges is eating one before they're set. Mmm, so good.